Gabriel Agress cannot be Ladybug. Why did I write that? Did something go wrong with my plan? No! I'm back with another video about Miraculous World London and its impact on the sixth season. In the special, we witness Lila become a time-traveling villain while using a journal to overcome the amnesia experienced by the victims of Akumatai's villains. Lila's journal is the MacGuffin of the special, the item that pushes the plot along and encourages the characters to act. While Ladybug ultimately prevents Lila from writing down her secret identity, she allows her to keep the journal despite it having pages full of information. Since Lila spends the special reliving the events of the season 5 finale, she eavesdrops on countless characters and conversations to learn more about Gabriel, the Miraculouses, and the heroes. Today, I want to discuss the information Lila has and how it could influence the sixth season. So don't read it, and everything will be okay! Number 1. Gabriel's True Fate While Lila had already known about Monarch's secret identity, it's unlikely she knew his motivations or why he was desperate to steal the Ladybug and Cat Miraculouses. However, she enters Gabriel's home during his fight with Bug Noir, flying under the radar while stealing the Butterfly Miraculous. I think it's likely Lila overheard the conversation between the two enemies, including the way Bug Noir pleads with Gabriel to give up his goal to save Emily, using her video as leverage to change his mind. If Lila didn't stick around long enough to witness Gabriel summoning Gimme and make his ultimate wish, then it's likely she went back in time to relive the event. In the special, she eavesdrops on Marinette and Natalie directly after the wish is made, meaning she is one of the few people who know what truly happened to Gabriel on the day of his death. She wrote these circumstances down, including what she may have learned about Emily. She can later use this information to manipulate or blackmail other characters, especially Ladybug who chooses to lie about Gabriel's fate to the entire world. It's also during this scene that we learn about Gabriel's wish. Although it had sparked some debate within the fandom, it turns out that he traded his life to cure Natalie of her illness, rather than revive Emily from her coma. However, this information will be irrelevant moving forward, as Ladybug tells Adrian this from the start, leaving no room to question how Natalie miraculously recovered from her fatal illness. Number 2. Adrian, Kagami, and Tomoe when Chronobug and Bunnix intercept Lila and prevent her from learning Ladybug's identity, she moves on to another critical moment in the timeline. She travels to London, arriving in Gabriel's prison before Bug Noir does to find the perfect place to stake out and eavesdrop on the heroes' conversation. She's present long enough to witness Bug Noir save Kagami first. As both teenagers know that Bug Noir is actually Marinette, they speak openly and honestly with one another, with no reservations about the truth. Bug Noir doesn't try to hide from Kagami how depressed and exhausted she is. The acting in the scene is one of my favorite moments from the special, as it shows that Marinette trusts Kagami enough to let her guard down, even when transformed. As Lila should already know that Kagami wields the dragon miraculous from the information she stole in Revelation, she should make notes about the casualness in which the pair speak with one another. She would be correct in assuming they are close friends and that Kagami may know Ladybug's secret identity. As she nearly eavesdrops on their entire conversation, Lila also learns critical information about Tomoe. Bug Noir informs Kagami that Tomoe knowingly worked with Monarch to create the Alliance Rings. However, Kagami convinces Bug Noir not to apprehend Tomoe, as her arrest would prompt her to tell the world about Monarch's identity. Kagami also believes that her mother can change and wants the chance to speak with her before the heroes get involved. However, Lila may make Tomoe's redemption impossible by reaching out to her later, seeking an alliance. The last thing Lila would overhear from their conversation is how much they mutually care for Adrian. Bug Noir wants to spare his feelings by lying to the entire world, but it's unlikely that a mere acquaintance would go to such lengths to protect someone's emotions. From this alone, Lila could infer that Bug Noir is someone Adrian knows in his personal life, even if he's unaware. There's still one last problem. Your mother, Kagami. She was Monarch's accomplice. She put the world in danger. Number 3. Mayura's Secret Identity after Gabriel's death, Bug Noir spends extended time in the aggressed estate. She spends the aftermath speaking with Natalie, even going so far as to tell the older woman her secret identity, trusting Natalie to become an ally to Ladybug. During one of their conversations, Natalie claims she plans to come clean about her role as Mayura, allowing the world to know that she helped Monarch terrorize Paris. While her intentions are admirable and fall in line with her redemption arc, Bug Noir prevents Natalie from going through with her plan, claiming that Adrian will need a maternal figure to help raise him. Natalie agrees to keep her secret and raise Adrian, but they're both unaware of someone else listening in. Lila may have already assumed that Natalie wielded the Peacock Miraculous, but now she has verbal confirmation. Lila may find a way to out Natalie for her past criminal activity, leading to her arrest and Adrian losing another guardian. Doing so may significantly hinder Adrian's life, as his only living family is his aunt Amelie, who lives in London. 
Although Adrian could become Astro Cat and travel to Paris whenever there is an akumatized villain, the long distance travel would become difficult to maintain. He would also need to make excuses for his absences, as Amelie and Felix would be more likely to notice when he disappears. Unlike Gabriel, they would build rapport with Adrian and want to be an active part of his life, meaning he would need to be more cautious about his life as Cat Noir. However, Lila's interference could open the door for Adrian to tell Felix about his double life. Doing so could help bring the cousins closer together, returning their relationship to what it was like when they were children. You saved us all. Besides, Adrian isn't all alone. He has you. Number 4. The Kwamis and the Miraculouses the last subject that Lila should have detailed extensively in her journal concerns the Kwamis and the Miraculouses. She witnesses as Natalie takes Bug Noir to the Kwamis, giving her the opportunity to see each of them and write notes about their appearances, personalities, and their relationship to Ladybug. She also received a first-hand look at the machine Gabriel used to contain them. If I were Lila, I would have drawn diagrams of the structure and the terminal that controlled it. Now that the other wielders will receive their Miraculouses, there is a good chance that she will try to steal a few Miraculouses and their Kwamis. If she does so, then she'll need a similar machine to help control them. As I've already mentioned, there's also a significant chance that Lila witnessed Gabriel's wish. In that case, she's one of the few characters in the series who knows about the Kwamis having true forms and their potential of unifying together to create new, cosmic and reality-shaping entities. In Miraculous World London, Lila doesn't hesitate to summon Gimme as soon as she obtains the Ladybug and Cat Miraculouses. It's safe to assume she knows exactly what she wants with her wish and she will do anything to achieve it. However, Lila could also go the extra mile and try to create new Kwame combinations in the future. In his debut episode, Suhan mentioned that each Kwame belongs to a yin-yang pair. It would be interesting if these pairs could unify while well in their true forms to become a new being capable of great power. With this knowledge, Lila may take Miraculouses to forge these unifications, trying to create a Kwame as powerful as Gimme. I realize this idea may be far-fetched, but Miraculous Ladybug has never hesitated to test the boundaries of their narrative to introduce new characters and magic systems. Personally, I would love a subplot of Lila continuing Gabriel's research into the Miraculouses, leading her to discover secrets unknown by the heroes. Nuru, Dark Wings Rise. Well, I know taking the entire journal may have led to Lila creating another, Ladybug leaving significant information in the hands of her enemy may become one of her greatest mistakes. She only takes the time to read a single page in the journal, so there's no telling what important information Lila gleaned from her adventure through time. However, it's safe to assume that she learned everything the audience did during Miraculous World London, meaning she may end up with Natalie, Tomoe, and Ladybug in her back pocket before the finale of Season 6. You can't access the future anymore, but you can still go back in time. Nailed it! Except… Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and turn on notifications to stay updated on our uploads. We'll never know about his secret identity, but thanks to Gabriel Agrest's heroic sacrifice,